Hello everyone and welcome. I am Suze uh, and this is my first Photoshop tutorial. I'll be doing a lot of tutorials for many types of softwares like Cinema 14, 3ds Max and Photoshop and Illustrator and many many other stuffs. So today what I want to talk about is this black and white photos. Some photos, I mean I don't, there are some photos that are not just black and white. You see this, this is all black, white, black, white. See the shadows, the shadows are black, the windows are white, all white. This one is dark. See the shadows and the break stones are all black. But there are some photos, I mean, they're not black. I'll show you what I'm talking about in a moment. So there are many ways to do this, the, and I'm going to show you the three of them that I know. So let's jump into Photoshop. No. So this is my photo that I chose to do that, sorry. Uh, the first way to do that is to control shift Q. That's the easiest way and the time saving way. I mean, this is the easiest thing in Photoshop you can do. So, and the next method is uh, you go to adjustments, black and white. This black and white, it has a lot of controls, but it doesn't give you the result like this photo it has a lot of controls you can do it you can sometimes it works this way but sometimes it don't but let me show you a thing that I love the way that I love to do it is the channel mixer so this channel mixer is a lot easier less controls many abilities you can output channels you can edit whatever you want it and the default preset it has some default preset Look at this, this. Okay, so let's just work on our own. Let's make a preset. Okay, so the first thing you want to do when you open this channel mixer is to hit this button. This button, what it does, it makes this adjustment only for this layer. I mean, if you have many layers below this, uh, it will affect it. It will affect it, but the way to prevent that is this button. You just have to deal this one yeah this one you just have to do it and uh, you see my layer there is an underline on the name so that means this one is affected by this one and only has this one affected any layer below it won't be affected so let's do it a monochrome and the first thing that I want to do is to adjust the constant the constant see we're already getting there I mean nothing too fancy and we're already getting there we're close but that's not what I want. Okay, so let's just make it so white a little bit wider, and then, and then, the magic happens. This is. I like it this way. I mean, it's it's easier, and it has so many results, and you can play with it later with some a uh, curves adjustment, and it even better see it has this is became like a vector it's like an illustrator no so so just add some fade on it so it don't kill all of the black in your photo and you'll be able to see everything like this tree see this one no no yep this is what I want this is what I want and look at this this is curse without it amazing right so the next thing we want to do is want to control shift e to merge all of the layers so that i can do whatever i wanted with it cut it drop it so to do some highlights on those things those lines and everywhere a little bit we're gonna do something else like control J alter other high pass this high pass is cool sometimes sometimes it's not it just have to sharpen your photo so no hard mix no because it became artistic <laughs> uh, look at it so, sorry little bit this photo is awesome awesome so uh, I hope you enjoy it this is the end 
and uh, anything you want me to approach or anything you want to do you want me to do it for you like approach some style anything hit me in the comments and don't forget to subscribe bye see you next time